Governor Mike yep. Huckabee will be at the convention. He's even one of the speakers. He joins me now with more on what to expect. Governor, I have to ask you, so have you written the speech? Do you know exactly what you're saying already? Hmm. Well, I'm working on it, Melissa. You know, I think a lot of the security presence is going to be not to keep people from getting in the convention, but when I speak, they're worried about that so many people will try to leave. So they're trying to keep the security there to keep them inside so they won't rush for the exits. I love your joke. We don't believe that for a minute. What are the themes that you're going to hit? I mean, that, it's very exciting. That's an honorable spot. What are, you, what are you going to give us like a little preview, a little taste? I know you don't want to ruin it, but just give us some thoughts. Well, the theme will uh, center around, and it's, this is for the whole evening, on uh, Make America Safe Again. Perfect timing and talk of the security. Right. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of things. We have a very short period of time, all the speakers, very kind of quick, almost vignette. So it's hard to distill everything you want to say into a short period. And, and frankly, it's harder to prepare a short speech than it is a long one. Yeah, no, that's absolutely true. How many minutes do you have? I think I've got five minutes, uh, and that's what most of us have. I mean, we have like a five-minute shot here, and that's pretty much throughout the uh, the convention, as I understand it. Yeah, no, five. I mean, in television time, that's an eternity. I mean, five minutes. That's that's a long period of time. Yeah. But that's uh, that's impressive. Did you see the polls that came out today um, from the various swing states? In in the polls that we've seen in the past couple weeks. Donald Trump hadn't been doing so well. And then all of a sudden we saw these Quinnipiac, which is obviously very reliable, came out showing the swing states, Florida being maybe the most significant, where before Trump had been trailing by a ton. And now all of a sudden he's up by three. The margin of error is three, but still, he had been way behind, now he's ahead. And then, you know, they're dead up tied in Ohio and in Pennsylvania. He's up by two. Um, you know, all that margin of error is there, but, but still, do you think that this is a blip? Does it tell you something? What do you make of it? Well, I think it's uh, the result of people knowing more and more about how Hillary has lied under oath, how she told one thing uh, to Congress, and yet the facts prove differently. I don't think it helped her that James Comey essentially gave her a get-out-of-jail card free because people are sitting around America saying, yeah. I wouldn't have gotten that, and you know what? They're right. They wouldn't have. I yeah. don't think that we're going to see uh, much of a change. I think there's a great bump for Donald Trump, and the convention will be a bigger bump for him. Yeah, there's two sets of rules, it seems like, in America. A lot of people are thinking. Let me ask yeah. you, the big buzz right now is obviously about who he's going to pick as VP. What's your bet? Boy, it's hard to say. I mean, every hour, the predictions change. And I think the one thing I've come to do, and I can predict with absolute certainty, Donald Trump will be unpredictable. Yeah. That's about the only thing I can tell you. Uh, I, I mean, it I looks like that, that we could say, well, it's going to be either Pence or Trump or Newt, or it's going to be maybe Jeff Sessions. But it may be none of the above. We just don't know. Yeah. But, you know, the, the most important thing is it's someone that Trump feels comfortable with, that he feels like is a, a partner in this process. And that's more important than what anybody else thinks about it. It could be you, Governor. Uh -huh. We'll keep an eye on it. Governor, thank you so much. Pretty we look sure forward it won't be. We look forward to hearing you on Monday. <laughs> thank you so much, sir. Uh